Cairo. We are in the room early in the morning. يا ابويا عارف يعني واحده واحده في الايطالي تعرف يعني ايه بالفرنسي The only theory we have explaining having the entrance in the northern side of the pyramid is that ancient Egyptians believed that uh, people in the afterlife will have to follow the north star. <laughs> The three pyramids of Giza were built by three of the kings who ruled Upper and Lower Egypt during the Old Kingdom, 4th Dynasty, 2600 BC. So 4,600 years ago. Things here was used for protection. The soldiers of Napoleon Bonaparte between 1798 and 1801 who used the head of the statue as a target for their rifle practice. Those are restorations, modern restorations. As you can see, it is facing Pizza Hut and KFC. Oh. There's a fabric place. What are they smoking the look at us? Those are huge. And what's this rest of this bangs? This is wonderful photography. <laughs> and this is the view from the balcony, and it faces the Egyptian Museum, where we are planning to hang out. It's a lovely place. We were there early. The mummy of the king with the mask of King Tutankhamun around his head, or over his head. The mask was also made out of pure solid gold, and it weighs 30 pounds of pure solid gold. This is the mummy of King Tutankhamun. There are little tiny images about one inch high that were taken from the tombs. room with all the models in it and I just love them. These were in the tombs in the Middle Kingdom which show the marching armies of Nubians. This is also from the tombs. These models were to accompany the kings to the next life. It was an improvement over actually burying the real soldiers. shop 3,000 years ago. Notice how they're using bows to dr make drills and adds this to carve wood. And here are all the tools that they used at that time.
That's the lake behind the Aswan Dam. And then this is our room in our cabin. And here's the window. And we're right on the Nile River here. This is the dining room on the boat that we're eating. And this is the buffet. And this is the dessert buffet. It's our ship. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. This is our ship. Okay. This is the spice market. Yeah. Very cheap. What is it? How much is it? Ten dollars. Oh, okay. These must be curries. Is this curry? Yeah. This curry. That's curry. curry. And what is it? This curcuma. Yeah, curcuma. Turmeric is that turmeric? Curcuma. Yeah, I make turmeric. I don't know that. You make turmeric also. Mm. Yes, spices. You can smell. You can smell. How can you smell? I would like to smell my spice. No basket, madame? Basket, madame? Yeah. It will discount, sure. Give me one for ten dollars. Yeah, understand? Yeah, I have only things, I have 50 groups. <laughs> This is the old cataract hotel, which is right on the Nile. And the cataracts refer to the river here, where evidently there used to be cataracts in the old days. Here to the terrace where we're having ice cream. British, they have tea in the afternoon. These are some of the things they serve at tea. These petty, petty fours and pastries. This is our first ice cream in Egypt. And it's made by Nestle's, which is a Swiss company. And um, we were really hungry for ice cream and we had to pay to get into the hotel. And, this is, and then they give you something to eat and this is what we chose. Okay. And this afternoon we're gonna be like this tourist group and take a full look a ride on the sailboat there. And here are the boats. And this is the island here with the Temple of Philae on it. You can see all the ruins from a distance here. <laughs> behind the old dam and in front of the big Aswan Dam. This is the old dam, built by the British in 1898. This is the temple at Philae. This was submerged in water and saved from the old dam. Mm -hmm. 
very new comparing to Parliament. What about this 4th century, 4th century before Christ? Pagan Roman emperor built for the god of Isis, a small chapel, and that's a symbol of the These are the hieroglyphics inside the Temple of Philae. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's lovely. Okay. This factory made all the kind of the stone handmade work. This is the brown granite stone. This is the black basalt stone. I cut this stone not too far from here, just up the mountain in here. You can cut the size what you want of the basalt and the granite. Because when you visit everywhere in here in Aswan, you see it in the ground, mm -hmm. this kind of the stones. This one, alabaster stone. Alabaster stone is three different colors. Brown alabaster, white alabaster, green alabaster. This man, he cuts the size what he want. After he make the form what he want, he rub it up by material and the glue cotton like this pieces, and put it in the sun three days. Why he rub it up by material and the glue and put it in the sun three days? Because after this he put it in the ground and he make a hole inside. Without this material and the glue, when he make the hole inside, the pieces is black. collection pieces like this to make the hole inside. If you have big vase or small vase, you have many different sizes in here. He put the size what he want inside and he make a hole. After this, he take off the material outside and he push it by the fire. After the fire, he making by the sandstone. Sandstone is like the paper to make it smooth. Okay. After this, he put it in the oven about 200 degrees 20 minutes. Oh. After this, he cover it by wax because you have natural color of the stone inside. Before wax is one color. After cover it by wax, you know the color white or green or brown. But before wax is one color. This is handmade wax. Look how light. This is alabaster made by machine. Look the difference. Mm. Yes, yes. Too. Yes. Oh, much heavier. This way, please. That. Deck of the ship. And our dinner companions, the English speaking couple. This is a, a bridge across the Nile River that's going to be very similar to the Trans Bay Bridge in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's a very beautiful bridge. And just imagine what it was like when it was used for religious.
There is two flowers on top of each other, that's why we call it symbolic flowers, which is it's a new style of the art appeared with the Ptolemy period. And I am the book dedicated to Goddess Hathor. These are the male and female symbols, the art and the delta. This temple built dedicated to worship the crocodile. The crocodile was worshipped in this area in the days. These are religious songs of prayer, says and so and so and they were good. Worship you to appreciation to you, thank you. Or they were bad. He was in peace for worship. And beside that, they would shift another one beside him. So the crocodile was considered evil. So in order to make a balance to the place... This is our Egyptian barbecue with our decoration. And here's yogurt, hummus, baba ganoush. Hi. This is Esna. And we're going to go through the locks here. I give you please. And all these people are right here. This is at the temple of Karnak. We have a herd of goats going by. 14 kings ruled Egypt from Luxor. Ahmus, Amenhotep the first, Totmosi the first, Totmosi the second, Hatshepsut. Totmosi the third, Amenhotep the second, Totmosi the fourth, Amenhotep the third, Amenhotep the fourth, Akhenaten, Semenik Kara, Tutankhamun, Ayi, and Horemheb. What I want to say that those pharaohs, the nobles, and the others kept adding their houses and their palaces to the town. Then they built the temple on the top of the mountain. That was 4,000 years ago. The river used to flood every year, and the water was bringing more soil every year. So after 4,000 years, the level of the floor in the valley now, it's much higher than the floor of the people. Okay. So during the new kingdom, when the level of the floor in the valley became the same height of the floor of the temple, so they had to protect the temples from the floods. That's why they built the walls around the temples. The walls were built out of the mud bricks, 6 meters thick, some places 12 meters thick, around 95 acres. Can you imagine how long it took for them to make the mud bricks to build the walls? around 95 acres. It's the color being used in ancient Egypt, so it's a stone color. Stone on stone will stay forever. It doesn't affect by the camera flash at the other side. This is Karnak. Yeah, we went three. Yeah.
I can't believe it. My God. And to see the uh, scarab, which being the symbol of the rising sun, the good luck, and the eternal life. You know the scarab, or you call it the dung Temple beetle, you find it on the farms or nearby. The animals collect the dung or the animal make it like boy. This is the Temple of Karnak. This is the most incredibly beautiful thing you've ever seen. This is the wife of Ramesses and Ramesses. Now, these are the vendors at Memphis. <laughs> Other places? How much? Okay. That is not beautiful. Look at that. <sighs> These are puppies asleep among the gods. Oh, and at the stepped pyramid, which is very old. All food offerings for these kings to travel into the next world. There's corn and there's all sorts of breads and fruit here. And these are the servants of the king that are bringing him food and drink to feed his soul. The alligators and the hippos and all the animals. This is very early. Look at this. Look at the fish. They are milking an animal. Oh my goodness. Well, they couldn't stop that poor baby from drinking some drops and the other one looks jealous. It's not this a is food drink. drink. It's his soul. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In later periods they have defaced it. This was found opened and buried in the sands. These are some of the original colors that are still in the tomb here. This is the first pyramid on earth. These are the first columns that were ever made on earth. This is the tomb at Sakura. about the goofiness of this, I like. Wow. This is, these are Egyptian villages. Oh. The girls and boys who work in our school have certain designs and their hands. These designs are drawn for them by people. Okay? This is part of the design. It's divided into square centimeters. Each square centimeter contains 64 knots or 100 knots. And now the man is going to trim in front of you. After trimming, you can see the details of the design. The designs are according to his own plans. And here is the Reno Hotel where we are staying. This lovely, elegant old hotel that was built in the 1890s, I believe. This is by the swimming pool. There's the first pyramid, and here's the second pyramid. And here we are at the base of the pyramid in this elegant, elegant hotel. This is the lobby.
<laughs> this is our room overlooking the pyramids. And from our view, we have this view of the pyramids. There's one, and there's two. happening with them. They look abandoned, but some are lived in. They don't have very many windows. Some look unfinished. It's sort of a mystery. Egypt has a surplus of power because of the dam. From Aswan Dam. We're in Khal El Khalid with these mosques. And this is the entrance to the mosque. And this is the square. In the heart of Khan El Khabib, which is the shopping area, where all the little shops are. I bought in the Khan El Khabib, which is a woman making bread. That's wonderful. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Yeah, yeah, by Shish, okay. And he has all of these other things here, too. Look at all of these wonderful figures. All the activities. Alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. I'd like to have that. I'll be here when I come back. Yes. Okay. But it's be careful. I'm here. It's closed here. It's empty. Exactly one hour. It's finished. This is all the things they have for sale here in this bazaar. They're hookahs. Who says that? This new Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Shawa in the afternoon and people are standing around and doing their hookahs looking at ourselves in and the looking mirror. at ourselves in the mirror there we are <laughs> yeah okay that's where we get the boxes here the citadel which was built by Saladin at the time of the Crusades in 1100 it's a link with domes and spires filled with Islamic art. Weil er ein ganz berühmter König war, das war aus dem besten italienischen Karaman. Before them, they had some Turkish. Ich weiß nicht, aber der Liberator ist ein ganz berühmter Liberator, ein ganz berühmter Liberator. This is the Grand Mosque of Cairo. This is where you wash your hands and feet before going in to pray.
That's wonderful. Thank you very much. This entryway is just gorgeous. Okay, here, here, here. Yeah, I got it. This one, make big make restoration in this tree. I see. I see here, here, from... Hanging Church of Cairo. In the United States, we had Arabic numbers, but if you look at these numbers on this building, which is a phone number, you'll see that they're quite different. Like this number here is 5758063. This is McDonald's. This is traffic in downtown Cairo at uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. Looks just like home. Uh, he's out of gas or his car has been working and he's going to walk it down the freeway. Listen to the horns. They call that Cairo music because everybody blows their horns all the time. Four-lane highway, and if you count them, there are five lanes of drivers. <laughs> and that's typical of, of what we see in Cairo. 